Hey, what's up, everybody? I think the United States Mint has lost their flipping mind. We are looking at the 2020 product schedule, and just released was the price for the 2020 Basketball Hall of Fame colorized, colorized coins. Uh, so we are looking at right here, and these are completely, these are way overpriced. I mean, most of the stuff from the Mint, their numismatic, or I really don't even like to call them numismatic. It's really their novelty collectible items. But, you know, a lot of the stuff the United States Mint has on their website that we can buy directly from them typically is overpriced. Some of the stuff I buy, some of the stuff I like, I buy, I purchase, but most of it I just do not even get into. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we buy from the United States Mint will indeed lose value. When you go to resell it, you will not recoup most of the money that you put into these items with the exception of a couple like last year, the 2020 Enhanced Reverse Proof Coins, um, the Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle from the San Francisco Mint. Uh, the year prior was the uh, Palladium the Palladium Eagle, which, you know, was a good flip. And there's a few things that come out from the United States Mint that indeed will be a good flip that you can make not only your money on, your money back on, but you can make a bit of a profit. Um, but those are very far and in between. Now, these coins here that are going to be coming out on August 28th, these are way overpriced. This here is not even silver. This here is a clad, colorized coin, and this is $55. And it has a limited mintage of 750000 And I think the funniest thing about this one is it has a household limited too, which, and it says here, I think this says household limit is two for the first 24 hours. I guarantee, I'm going to guarantee that they sell no more than, I'm, I'm going to say, I would be very surprised if they sold more than 5000 of these for $55 when it's not even silver. Now, speaking of the silver, we are going to take a look at the silver coin as well. This one is $95 for not even one troy ounce of silver. The weight is 26.730 grams. This is not even one ounce of silver. Three nines fine silver, but it's not even one ounce. And they want a hundred, almost a hundred dollars. And this is not even fully colorized, just the rim is colorized very very crazy so now the other basketball hall of fame coins was released almost a month ago well it was it was a couple it was a few weeks ago and here is let's take a look and see how many in the first few weeks how many of these actually sold and these are seventy dollars, so the price isn't nearly as bad. It's still it's still bad. It's still overpriced. Um, and again, it's not even one ounce of silver. Still overpriced, but not not as bad as that colorized one. If you purchase this because you just like the design, I think the design is hideous. To be honest, I think it's got a hideous design. I'm not a big fan of this design, uh, so I did not purchase it. But these will gu are guaranteed that if you have to resell these on the secondary market or um, hopefully not to your coin shop, but no matter where you sell these, you are pretty much guaranteed to lose money. Now, if you're a collector, it's not a big deal. If you don't worry, if you're never going to sell it and you're not worried about making your money back, then it is what it is. But if you have any intention on selling it and you want to get your money back, 
these will not do that. I'm, I'm going to guarantee, I'm almost going to guarantee, there's no guarantees in anything really, but I'm going to almost guarantee you will not make your money back on these coins. Now, let's take a look at the mintage. This has, this has a limited mintage of 400,000. I have not looked at this mintage yet. But I doubt that they even sell 50,000 of these coins. Let's take a look. All right, so we are going to take a look. So, so far, for that one uncirculated silver coin, they sold 18,000. And, I mean, that's probably, pre that's probably pretty much everybody who wants that coin. So, I would be very surprised. They may not even sell 25,000 of these coins. Just way overpriced. The design is not that good. It's uh, like I said prior. I think it's a hideous design, um, not very good in my opinion. So that is what they sold at that. Let's go take a look and see what else they have coming up. All right. So from the United States Mint, we still have um, here is the uncirculated coin. This one went on sale a couple weeks ago. It is still unavailable. Um, I did a video last week that they sold in the first one hour. They sold 98,000 of those coins, and they were no longer available after the first hour of sale. Very crazy. I was actually thinking about buying one. I probably will I probably will not buy one now, now that I know that there's almost 100,000 of them that were minted. Um, I was going to take a chance of picking one up, and it was going to be a lower mintage because of, you know, just in case the West Point Mint shut down. It would not surprise me if they close it down uh, in New York again at some point. Uh, but what else do we have coming up? Uh, July 21st, we have the American Innovation Coin. Nothing special there. And then August 18th, we have the Women's Suffrage Centennial 2020 Proof Silver uh, Commemoratives. Uh, I will not be picking any of these up either. If I was to pick them up, I'd probably do the metal set. But like I said, I am not. I'm definitely not picking any of these up. I don't care for the design. I don't care for the theme. Um, so I will not be picking any of these coins up either. These are for the, the set. It's $120. A, another limited mintage of 400000 when I doubt they, they will even come close to 400000 Just not very impressed. Not very impressed with this at all. Um, but what we are all waiting for, and which will have some flippability if that's what you choose, it is going to be, once again, I am waiting for the release for when the dates are going to come out for the end of World War II, 75th anniversary of the end of World War II, proof silver and gold American Eagles, uh, 75000 there. And the gold, of course, has 1945 for the mintage, but we still don't have the price for the gold, and we still don't have the dates for either. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about everything. Um, of course, let me know what you think about these colorized basketball coins. Are you going to pick any of these up? Um, I doubt, as far as mintage of this, I would be very surprised. I might have said it. I can't remember if I said it at the beginning of the video. I'd be, I'd be surprised if they sold 10,000, 5,000. Eh. It's going to be something to see how many of these they sell with that crazy price of $95. And the entire coin is not even colorized. I'm not a big fan of colorized coins to begin with. Um, but if you're going to call it a colorized coin, at least color the whole stinking thing and not get lazy about it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in that comment section below. What are you waiting for from the United States Mint? What are you going to be picking up? Um, is it going to be anything that is currently available or is there something else that is 
still do still to be determined that you are waiting to see what the release date is let me know in the comment section below appreciate everybody for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to everybody on my next video i wonder real quick if that uh if that west point american silver eagle is still available Yep, that is still available. And what about the San Francisco Silver Proof set? Is that one still available? Yes, indeed it is. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.